a longtime member of Chinmaya Mission. Shashi Uncle will now say a few words to us. Hariyo, thanks Anirudh. Um, my pranams to Swamiji's parents, teachers, friends, and children. Um, it is truly an honor as well as a privilege to express few thoughts about um, our graduating students on behalf of all the graduating parents. Um, we would like to say a few, uh, few words about on three areas primarily, how Chinmaya Mission has benefited our children and how we as parents are influenced by mission and its activities. Um, when you say we, it should also be um, taken as all the parents of the graduating children. And when we say our children, it's all the graduating children. And it could also apply for other parents and children as well. Um, our children, as we heard, has been coming to Chinna Mission right from very young age, three years, five, four, five, six years. Um, they have been, their minds have been soaked with uh, such values such as um, sincerity, honesty, truthfulness, love, compassion, which is typically not taught in a secular environment. And as they had started attending Balivihar sessions or classes every Sunday, week after week, um, they also were exposed to uh, stories from Balabhagavatam, Balaramayanam, Panchatantra, and all the stories from our rich and ancient history. And they were also exposed to, in the middle years, um, extempore speeches and uh, skits, quizzes, um, and so on. And also they were introduced to the concept of volunteerism, volunteering um, locally um, and also internationally. So doing seva. Um, as they stepped into the higher um, grades, into the high school, uh, they were introduced to the concept of Vedanta and how Vedanta relates to their academic field and how they can implement Vedanta in, in their academic um, uh, careers. Um, they were also introduced to um, um, the, the Bhagavad Gita and also the, the stotrams and chantings that uh, throughout the years, throughout from their elementary all the way up to, up to 12th grade, they have come across Bhagavad Gita and chanting stotrams. And whether they accept or not, whether they were aware of or not, chanting all of them, all of the stotrams and uh, bhajans and Bhagavad Gita has helped in, in them learning newer languages, able to, able to communicate better. Um, they, it has helped them uh, to kind of inner transformation um, to become, to handle more um, stresses in life. Um, but it would not be possible all of this without the unwavering dedication and commitment from the teachers. Um, and as parents, um, it, it would be naive to think that our children would have learned all of this in the Balaviha program um, without parents being part and parcel of the mission. Um, so, Parents, both the parents, or at least one parent, have been coming to the mission along with their children consistently, and we see the reward that that has really brought, brought us in that our children are graduating and ex, are going to excel in their own fields of choice. Um, as part of the parents is, uh, are concerned, we have been involved in uh, study groups and discussions, and that really has helped us to understand and follow the concepts of Vedanta and how we can implement that in our daily lives, how we can see the, the pins and pricks um, on, and the joys and, su joys and successes, both of them at, at the same level uh, with equanimity. Um, and it also helped us to volunteer in the mission, whether it be uh, summer camps or it could be a Mother's Day um, and, and those of us who have volunteered in the, uh, in the mission on Mother's Day know that there's no really no need for any exercises to do at home or anywhere um, on the Mother's Day or the day before or a couple of days after. Uh, 
So that's a, that, that's a good thing for all of us. Um, and finally, I would like to say a little bit about the mission activities in terms of uh, what we have learned from Swamiji's, uh, Swamiji and uh, Shankarji, Ashokji and others. They have been our guiding, guiding force all these, all these years. And Swamiji with his humility and, and accepting things as they are, not expecting as they should be, whether it be people, circumstances, situations, and his love for everybody equally. And we have learned from, um, from Shankarji and Ash Ashokji about the concept of um, doing service without expecting anything back. And, and those of us who have seen um, Ashokji, he is, he is an embodiment of Karma Yogi and he has never asked anybody to do anything and he leads by example all the time. Um, so with that, um, we wish, we will all, all of his parents um, are fortunate and blessed to be part of the mission. And we are looking to strengthen our relationship with the mission in the years to come. And at the same time, we have faith in our children that they will also keep this connection with the mission and then continue to build upon it in, in, their, uh, in their years to come, in their careers, in their uh, onward journey. Um, thank you and Hari Om.